So in the next uh, seven minutes, I will briefly talk about one of the research strands that we have at the Smith School, which is uh, sustainable finance. I will briefly introduce you to two main research projects that we did in the past and that we are doing currently. And it's very much related actually to also what, what uh, TSU is doing, greenhouse gas emissions or carbon uh, emissions. Before I start digging deeper into the research findings and the research we do, um, it's important to first say, okay, what do we actually understand uh, when we are talking about sustainable finance? What does sustainability in finance actually mean? Because that's not so clear cut. Sustainable finance is generally perceived as being a really ambiguous term actually because sustainable can, or the literature actually says that there's a two-way interpretation of, of sus sustainability in finance. The first one generally says, okay, firms can generate long-term profits and sustain them. So they can generate sustainable profits over the longer term period. But a second interpretation actually talks more about sustainability from the viewpoint that corporations should also respect the environment, the social issues of the workers, while actually maximizing shareholder value, maximizing firm value. And this is basically uh, a not so clear cut definition and therefore we believe in the Smith School actually, and this is also what I uh, will be talking about now, that sustainable finance actually combines both of these definitions. Yeah? On the one hand, firms and corporations should ensure that profits are maximized on a longer term basis, but they should do it in a sustainable way basically. So it's about generating sustainable returns sustainably. Um, in order to check whether firms um, that are sustainable with respect to environmental practices or environmental management systems actually also show an outperformance or a kind of financial outperformance over the longer term, we conducted, conducted last year one meta study on sustainability and corporate social responsibility in which we reviewed more than 200 academic papers on the topics of, of sustainability basically. The goal was basically to deliver a research piece to the financial industry which shows that yes, it makes a difference whether your firm is sustainable or not. And we reviewed more than 200 academic and industry reports. And what we basically find is that the overwhelming evidence or the overwhelming majority of the research studies actually show that yes, firms outperform on a longer term basis if they have sustainable business practices in place. So this is re reflected in the financial performance. Share prices, stock prices are outperforming less sustainable firms. The operational performance of more sustainable firms are also better. And that's most interesting, firms actually have access to lower costs of capital. Yeah? So if, if, the if a corporation, for example, wants to take on a new loan from a bank, these banks actually provide lower interest rates for more sustainable firms. And this is basically also the topic of the second research I would like to share with you actually, which is a current project that we are doing because we have this evidence from this meta study now, okay. But we were interested in more, okay, does this also really matter in, in practice, in reality? Do these if effects really exist? And therefore we're conducting a new research piece on the carbon emissions of corporations and relate this to the cost of financing directly of corporations. The main research question being whether uh, carbon emissions affect the level of the interest rates that corporations have to pay on their bank loans is basically the main research question of, of this, this paper. We got some interesting data from the Carbon Disclosure Project, which uh, some of you might know actually, which is a non-profit organization based in London. And they collect all kinds of carbon emission data from uh, major and big companies from all around the world. So we basically know how much Apple, for example, is emitting, how much is Microsoft emitting, all these kinds of information we have. And we wanted to check in how, in how far banks pick up this extra financial information when they start pricing and assessing the credit worthiness of certain firms. Um, our hypothesis is basically, given the research findings from the meta study, it was that uh, more sustainable firms pay lower bank um, cost of bank debt and that's actually also what we find. So if we just compare the two, these two graphs here basically, as soon as firms start voluntarily disclosing CO2 emissions, they just pay roughly 150 basis points interest rates on their bank loans. But firms that do not want to voluntarily disclose CO2 emissions actually pay almost 200 basis points. This significance is actually also not only econom economically quite big when you consider that banks take on loans of mil multi-millions uh, of dollars. Um, this is also statistically significant. And this makes a huge difference when it comes to financing investment projects uh, of big corporations. 
So overall, these two research pieces, more or less, all the whole finance, sustainable finance uh, strand in the, in the Smith School actually shows that, that firms have an incentive actually to improve their environmental standards, their environmental management systems, in order to become more responsible, more sustainable, which also translates into a financial outperformance compared to less sustainable uh, counterparts, basically. Thank you very much.